The gaming industry has exploded over the last few years, creating hundreds of billions of dollars in revenue. Yeah, but one Kansas City man is making his money exploring the gaming industry's past. Fox Sports' Kevin Barry is here after talking to the man who calls himself the gaming historian. Kev? Yeah, Christelle and John Norman Caruso was a junior in college working at GameStop studying history when he decided to combine all of his interests into making YouTube documentaries. Well, more than a decade later, his YouTube channel is doing so well now that he quit his full-time job and he makes these videos full-time. It's time to dive into the dreaded vintage gaming historian videos that I made back in 2008. It was just a fun hobby in the beginning. But now Caruso has hundreds of thousands of followers and millions of views on some of his videos. Like put it into perspective it's like this is like if you filled up Arrowhead like five times. It's stunning but makes sense when you look at how the gaming industry has grown. In 2021, it's estimated to be a $175 billion industry with hundreds of millions of people playing casually. Universities and sports teams are launching esports programs, and esports competitions can have prizes in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Nintendo of America was about to release one of their biggest games of all time. Crusoe's most recent video was about Super Mario World. It took nearly five months to research and produce. I purchased a variety of books and magazines from Japan. And has a million and a half views only three weeks after it was posted. I think that's my new record. I, I, hit, a, I hit a million views in about nine days. When would Super Mario Brothers 3, likely a few Gen Xers and Millennials who grew up with the gaming consoles and the games Caruso researches, enjoying a trip down memory lane? I had a comment the other day where a guy said, I watched this and it made me feel like I was five years old again waiting for the Super Nintendo to come out. And he was like, I'd never felt like that since. Well, this was fun. So Norman says he plans to start making videos about more modern games like the first generation of the Xbox console and PlayStation after spending years researching things like Sega, Nintendo, and games like Super Mario World. Joe?